exception request where we can ask for setback, for maximum setbacks to be larger. Uh, for instance, if there's a house, the maximum setback right now is 15 feet. Um, a normal parking space is 20 feet, so it really doesn't even allow us room enough to provide a normal depth of parking space at 15 feet to clear the bumper off the sidewalk. Um, the main, main roadway coming in is a 10% grade. Um, as you've gone through Madison Heights, you've probably seen the retaining wall that's being formed beside the hotels that are being built now. And that is because of the grade differential between the finished floor of the hotels and the roadway. Um, so it's going to be you know, roughly a 12-foot wall. Uh, so the roadway is going to be 12 foot higher than the finished floor of the first hotel, um, which is, it has already made uh, these setbacks a uh, considerable, almost insurmountable task uh, to maintain. We had a code change in front of you, and I just wanted to explain why we're asking for this. Uh, the, the TND, it's a great or, it's a great ordinance, it's a great idea, and, and in a flat place where you can build a grid system, it works wonderfully. Um, unfortunately, as you've driven down 29, you'll notice there's about a 70, 70 foot differential between where uh, business 29 is and the creek on the front of the property. Um, because of that, it topographical challenge, it makes it almost impossible to build parallel to the road. The buildings have to go perpendicular, um, and, and as, you, as you build perpendicular buildings, they get farther and farther away from the road. Um, and because all these roads are VDOT roads, you really can't build roads between any apartment buildings that you build in the front. You really, it, it, it's, it really completely ties your hands in the ability to build anything in the front. So, we're not asking for a blank check. What we're asking for is the ability to come back and ask for permission to do something that exceeds that setback. Um, so, you know, that's 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 the purpose of this. Um, we know there's been some discussion about maybe just writing in a maximum setback in the code versus leaving it as a special exception. But the problem with that is it, it really just ties your hands from the design perspective um, and really what you can build up front. I mean, as it stands right now, it's, it's basically unbuildable uh, unless you're able to deviate from that 15 foot setback uh, to something much larger, really, for a second set of buildings uh, that would be parallel to that uh, first building or in line with 29. Uh, the proposed change would allow for multi family dwellings to exceed the 15 foot maximum front yard setback through a sex special exception to residential sub areas of the MUTMB zoning district. The topography does not lay well for these size of buildings um, going down through there. Um, it, as you know, in Amherst County, we barely have any flat land. Um, and so the entranceway of, of this development, of course, comes off of 29, goes into a ravine where Williams Run goes down through, and then goes back up to where the, the area gets flatter. Um, this is not only for the upper section, potentially some other sections in the, the back of the development. However, up towards 29, it slopes down and due to that grade and how you have to situate the buildings, um, the developer be believes this is the most viable option. I think we have standards for a reason. I don't believe in just leaving it open-ended. Um, I'm a little bit more comfortable in the fact that it would require separate public hearings. Um, you know, quite frankly,